we're not live. This is a pre-recorded. It's half pre-recorded, half live. Uh, try to try to make sense of that crap. Um, that's what the the next movie will be. That's what episode nine is going to be. It's going to be part uh, VR, part uh, virtual reality, part real, part actual Sith lords and actual Jedi, and then some of uh, some bullshit. So. Um, Anyway, uh, thanks for uh, for joining me. I, I don't do this very often. I don't even do solo uh, videos. But just honestly, first of all, just a couple of things like the D, the whole Degoots drinking tears thing. Um, I guess it's funny. I guess you know we're, we're we I, we can take a joke. We can get it. I mean, I get I get that you're you know poking fun at everybody, but. You know when when it's when it's been done so many times I think that's what that's what uh, gets old is that it's like she's just jumping on the bandwagon of of let, let's see how crappy we can make these people feel let's see how crappy we can make these people feel for uh, for caring about stuff for actually caring about uh, Star Wars because it's something that we actually really really uh, thoroughly enjoy so it's like calling us fanboys and drinking our tears but then you work there so that makes you not a fan I guess so so therefore because you wouldn't be drinking your own tears right is that just they're just insulting herself she'll drink all the fans tears so there she wouldn't drink her own so therefore she's she's not a fan so um, I used to actually really like Degoots in the early days and TFA days, The Force Awakens first came out and everything, and there was new canon novels coming out. There were all kinds of really cool things. Um, drinking fanboy tears. I mean, we get it. It's supposed to be funny. We get you're make, trying to make fun of fans. We get it. Ha ha ha. But, uh, you know, it, I think it just, there's a point where it's getting old. Because, I mean, you know, no, no one should be... No one is necessarily has to be rude to each other online, but it does happen. And people, customers have the right to have grievances, you know? And it's like you, the, the whole narrative that Lucasfilm is playing is that we're, we're supposed to just deal with it and suck it up and just deal with what you want. Well, I mean, I predict that episode nine is gonna tank harder than Solo. I really do. And it'll be interesting to see. That That is what is actually the most intriguing part of episode nine to me, so is the possibility of how low those numbers can go. I don't, we don't want Star Wars to fail. We don't. But it's nothing going to change if, if it doesn't. So uh, Because we're just, you know, we're awful toxic fans. And so that's, that's if you want to do that, you know. Toxicity is everywhere. People, when people being rude is toxic, so there is toxicity everywhere. But quite honestly... Um, it shouldn't start with the employer, or excuse me, it shouldn't start with the, uh, with Lucasfilm. Anyway, I'm just gonna get into this, uh, oh, just real quick, uh, Colin Trevorrow, I mean, I, I'm, you know, I, I, I'm gonna link a, a, I'll actually just put this on the screen, it'll be a, something that is kind of a cool thing back in, like, 2015, I, I tweeted, uh, Colin a couple of times, just saying, and this was, like, right when The Force Awakens had just barely come out, I believe, anyway, I can't remember exactly, but I think, yeah, or at least right before Force Awakens, and I was just really hip to him, I, I was very familiar, I would love Stacey Not Guaranteed, I loved his films, and so I was excited for, for him doing episode nine, just because I, I did like his stuff, I like, I'm, I'm a fan of Colin Trevorrow, um, and I mean, apparently Jurassic World. I mean, he was on the. He was, you know, apparently he was added late. You know, the project. He just kind of did what what he could with it. So, if you didn't like Jurassic World, then don't blame him entirely. I don't know. That's just whatever. It's hard to say, but honestly, I think he would have done a cool thing with uh, Luke and Leia. It's a darn shame that that situation. Um, we're not going to experience that. I, I, I mean, Daisy Ridley wept. Uh, Luke. Uh, Luke Hamill, <laughs> um, Mark Skywalker, he was, uh, I mean, he, he was emotionally into it as well. He was like, we're on the same page. He specifically talked about that, how excited he was for what Luke, he was going to do with Luke. And, and that's exciting to me. Um, and, uh, for him to just speak out to the fans about 
uh, this right now is really awesome. Just to, I mean, he, he's been doing that for quite some time. I don't know if anybody's been follow. I mean, I follow him on Twitter and I, I see everything he says. So it's like he he's been saying this for a while. He's and maybe I'll post a bunch of his tweets in there and, and throw them in there. But um, yeah, he's. I mean, he's been he has been he's been saying that for a while that we gotta listen to the fans. And I mean, he said stuff about that like right after he was let go. And he talked about the fans, and, and there was this whole thing on, you know, bringing him back for uh, the third Jurassic World movie and all this stuff. So, but anyway, it's just, uh, it's just, it's really sad that we're not going to get what he was doing. I'm sure J.J. will do an okay movie, but quite honestly, um, it's pretty ridiculous that uh, Ryan wouldn't keep Luke alive just because, I mean, he wanted to keep Luke alive. He wanted to have Luke in this film at, at, at a larger capacity. <laughs> Thank you. 